Hey everybody, Roblox Dev here, and in today's video, I bring you part three of the cutscene series, where today we are going to be creating a cutscene uh, that launches with a button. So we've done the automated cutscene that starts when you start the game, the cutscene that starts when you touch the part, and now we're going to be doing a cutscene that starts when you click a button. So let's get right into it. So first I'm going to showcase what I've done, and then I'll show you exactly how I made it. In fact, I'll delete it and walk you through how to create it. So this bu this button right here, when you click it, it begins the cutscene and your camera just follows through. So let's hit stop and I'll walk you through how I created this. So in the comments section of last video, I said I was going to do a client to server back to client. So you click the button. The server picks it up, and then the server launches the cutscene for you. But instead of that, we are just going to make the button launch the cutscene for you. So, right here, in the uh, local script that launches the cutscene or manages the button, uh, as you can see, the uh, function in this script is nowhere to be found in this script. So, how have I done this? Well, I have not used remote events. What I've done is used a global function. And what this does is it makes it so this function right here is accessible in this script over here. It's really, really cool. So right here, I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, I do underscore G, which is kind of just how you create a global function, underscore G right there. And then with that, you can do equals function. So before we did a uh, local tween camera equals uh, or function tween camera equals and then you know, per parameters and all of that. So now what we do is underscore G dot and then the name and then equals and then function and then the parameters and then the function is created. And then right here to call the function in, what you do is underscore G dot and the function name. So in this script, if you want to call the function in, what you do is the same thing, just underscore G dot tween camera. And I'm pretty sure if I put an extra A, there's no error, but it won't work. So let's just keep it like this. And right here I can put in all my parameters, so for the first parameter is the uh, part 1, so that'll be this part in the script. Then the second parameter is the end part, so that'll be this parameter in the script, uh, as seen right here. And then the tween time, which is 3, the uh, third parameter right here, tween time. And then return count, which is either true or false. Right here, it's uh, true. So uh, that's how I've created this, and I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do it. So uh, I'm going to go to the camera tween script and change it back to local tween camera uh, I completely forgot how to create functions. That's okay. So there we go, local uh, function tween camera. And then down here I just got to remove underscore g. And uh, I'm just going to delete the whole screen GUI. So right now we're back to what I was before I started. And I'm going to show you just how to create this. So inside starter GUI, what I do uh, is cr click plus insert a screen GUI. We don't need service script service, by the way. So right here, I have the button placing in the bottom left and changing the text to play cutscene. And uh, just like that. We have done the text, and now we need to create a script. And what the script is going to do is listen for when we click the button and then play the cutscene. So uh, before we do that, we need to go to the camera tween script right here in starter player scripts, which is under starter player, and modify it. So uh, local function tween camera won't work here since we're not doing it locally, and we want it to be global um, for all scripts, not just this script. So uh, what you can do is get rid of tween camera, put it here, and then uh, put put the parameters next to the word function is what I meant to say and right here you want to do underscore g dot and then the name so for me it's going to be tween camera and and then a quick space equals space and there you go your global function has been created and down here you can just do underscore g dot and that uh, you know calls it in so th this is just for uh, when the server calls us to uh, run this function this won't be used but in case you are using the touch the touch part or you're just automating it, uh, that will be needed. So now you can go inside screen GUI, hit plus, insert a local script, and I'm just gonna do local button equals script dot uh, parent dot button. 
So from there we can do button dot mouse button one click connect function. You know it is. Uh okay that might have been a bit fast. And then in here you want to do underscore g dot tween camera. The name has to be the exact same as you defined it here, or else it will not work. Um, you want to do underscore g dot tween camera, and then in here you can put all your parameters. So workspace dot cutscene parts dot part. Let's do uh, part three. Just randomizing it now. Let's do part three to part one. Let's make the time three seconds or two seconds, and then uh, let's do well. We need this to be true to return the camera afterwards. And then from there, what you can do is just obviously you need to do your wait too. And what we can do actually up here is make the button invisible. So button dot visible equals false. And then under here, after the wait to button dot visible equals true. And this just makes it so you can you cannot click it multiple times uh, while the cutscene's running. And the cutscene's more you know clear. You don't have an extra button to look at. So from there, you can go ahead and close out the scripts. Hit play. And click this play cutscene button, and your camera will tween uh, wherever you wanted it to tween to. So as you can see, now it says play cutscene. Uh, there was an error there. I don't know. It was a bit delayed. I don't know if you guys uh, saw it. So I click the button. The cutscene ends. Oh. Uh, that's a bit weird. Let's change this and put it up here and that should be good for the most part play cutscene yeah it's all good now and the button should come back there it is so that's how you create a uh, button to launch a cutscene and that is the last part in the cutscene uh, series if you guys want another part just let me know um, in the next video I'm gonna be showing you the asset pack that I use to get um, all of this You've seen these in the thumbnails, uh, in the thumbnails of the cutscene series as well. Uh, there were thousands upon thousands of free assets there, so uh, you know, make sure that that make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that video. You don't want to lose my channel, and you obviously do want to see that video because there are thousands upon thousands of free to use legal. Uh, I don't really know if it was illegal, but legal to use assets uh, by Roblox themselves. They released it, and other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Roblox Dove. Peace.